Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about sumo wrestlers, intermittent fasting, also how sumo wrestlers can gain so much weight and also the weight loss lessons. Now, the other day I got an interesting question from Tino and he asked, how or why do sumo wrestlers gain so much you know, weight and fat if they're all you know, on an intermittent fasting diet? I don't get it. I thought intermittent fasting was for weight loss. And it's actually a good observation because, you know, he's got a point. For the most part, sumo wrestlers, you know, they skip breakfast. They eat two meals daily during an eight-hour, you know, window usually, just like intermittent fasting. However, there are some other differences, and I'll get to that in a minute. Now, today's topic is about how sumo wrestlers can gain so much weight and fat so quickly. And it's an odd topic, but I got a lot of people asking for it, so why not? However, I'm also doing this topic because there are some important weight loss lessons in it as well. I say this because over the years, I've had so many people tell me something like, I don't understand, you know, I eat only twice daily and I'm still gaining weight. Or I skip breakfast and I usually work through lunch and I'm still fat. Or they'll say, I hardly eat anything and I can't seem to lose weight. Now, if any of these statements sounds like you or someone you know, then you should please keep watching. Or if any of these statements are coming from someone you know, then make sure you share this video with them. On the other hand, if the idea of looking like a sumo wrestler is appealing to you, then just follow today's seven simple steps. Okay, so here's how to gain weight like a sumo wrestler. First, they skip breakfast. This helps slow down the metabolism in the morning because actually eating speeds it up. Next, they exercise in a fasted state on an empty stomach for about three to five hours. This increases cortisol and stress hormones, so your body is now in a fat conservation and more of a survival mode. Number three, they eat two large meals daily, typically at 11 a.m. and then eight hours later for their second meal. They sleep after each meal. So the first meal, they sleep four hours, and the second meal, that which is at the end of the day, is an overnight one. So this helps convert the food to for storage and not being used for energy, especially meal number two when they go right to sleep for the rest of the night. Number five, they eat lots of calories, primarily from carbohydrates. A little bit of protein and almost pretty much no fat. What this does is it causes high insulin blood sugar levels, which stores the food as fat. Number six, they drink lots of beer with both meals. You see, alcohol increases estrogen levels, which increases more body fat, especially beer. Alcohol also stimulates your body to secrete excess levels of cortisol, again, your stress hormone, which in turn causes your body to store fat in the abdominal region, thus creating that you know famous beer belly look. Now, this is great for a sumo wrestler because their big belly makes them more stable in the ring. And finally, eat with friends. During the two times they eat, it's done with at least one other person and typically with a few friends or teammates. And research has shown that when you eat a meal with others, you'll actually take in 44% more food and over 30% more carbs and fat calories than if you were to eat alone. So that's how sumo wrestlers gain lots of weight. Now I can see where the, you know, skipping the breakfast, working out fasted, eating during an eight hour time span makes someone say quickly, you know, isn't that intermittent fasting? Yes, it is that part. However, there's other factors here. First of all, they eat lots of calories between 8,000 to 20,000 daily. Listen, when you eat that much food, you're going to get fat, except the sumo style speeds up the process. They also eat, again, primarily almost all carbohydrates. Uh, as you saw, they drink lots of beer. And finally, genetics. Listen, the wrestling scouts for the boys, you know, they, they, they scout for boys who are athletic, preferably with some martial arts experience and who are also stocky in build with bodies that are just big bone and capable of putting on weight easily. So one of the lessons that we can take to an intermittent fasting plan if your goal is fat loss and you're not a sumo wrestler in training. First of all, eating one or two large meals isn't a good idea. Several small ones are ideal for better absorption and better hormones. Second, don't have all carbs. Also, you gotta eat some protein and fat. I like to keep it at 33% each, you know, 33% fat, protein, and carbs. It's a good starting point. Also, as always, total calories still matter. Um, during uh, doing hours of exercise, you know, fasted is going to raise your cortisol and lower your testosterone, burn muscle, and hold on to fat. So keep your workouts short and intense, 45 to 60 minutes. Um, just get in and get out. Also, you got to limit the alcohol. And finally, sleep is still very important because it helps build muscle, it helps lose fat, and because it improves your hormones. So there you have it. Whether you want to get fat or lose weight, these are the success principles to follow. 
Well, that's it for today. Hope this video gave you more clarity. Now, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also in the comment section, let me know what you learned today and what you liked. Also, do me a big favor and let me know the topics that you want me to cover in my videos. I have a special link below in the description area that you can just fill out. It'll go directly to me in my private email box. This helps me make the videos that you want to watch and the topics that you're interested in. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.